um, ready to really take off. So last week, one of the things that I did was actually clean out all of the drawers back behind the desk. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Bess. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, and reorganize everything because, you know, I feel like life is just a constant battle against chaos. And every once in a while, you just have to step back, take a breath, and reorganize and start again. So that's part of what I did during that little um, five days off. And then Adrian and I came in two days and started to work on the cellar here at the store because that also was a um, kind of avalanche of stuff. And when it gets that out of control, it's hard to find things. So we spent two days cleaning out down there. And now, as a result of that, we found a lot of new yarn that we were able to include in our semi-annual clearance sale. Um, and we have started that semi-annual clearance sale. If you saw my little impromptu Facebook Live on Saturday, I showed you some of the things that we have put on clearance. And one of the things is the Cardiff cashmere. And I made this hat out of two skeins of that cashmere. It's a small skein, it's just 25 grams, so it's only about 60 yards, but I managed to just squeak this hat out and we give you the pattern free when you buy the, um, the yarn. The yarn was $25, it is 100% cashmere, and it's one of those cashmeres that just gets softer the more you use it and um, the more you wear it. So when you feel the hat, versus the skein, there's already a big difference. But we've marked that cashmere down to $10. I was just double checking and it was 25. So that's a super duper sale. We've got some black left. We've got some white left. And I think we might still have two skeins of this beige left. If you came in on Saturday, we sold a lot of it then. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to everybody who came um, participated in the sale on Saturday because it was a great day. Hi Kathy, hi Beth, hi Decker, Nancy, good to have you here. Debbie, nice to see you too. Um, so we've got stuff like that on sale. What I did was actually pull all of the different cashmeres that I've had in the store and they are all up on the island and all of them are reduced. So if you are in a cashmere mood, this is definitely the time to buy the cashmere. We've got this Water Street from Block Island on sale. We've got some of the Lace Weight June cashmere, and we've got some of the Northampton Wool's um, cashmere with a little bit of wool blended in it as well. So you'll definitely want to get in and check those out. The sale will continue pretty much through the end of the month. Um, basically, the stuff that we're clearing out needs to be cleared out, so it's going to be on sale until it's gone. And right now, since we've just put them on sale, that's when you're gonna have the biggest selection and the, the best selection as far as colors go. There are a few yarns that we've got sweater quantities in and a few yarns that are great for um, using just in hats or mittens or scarves. Um, things, if you're look in a Fair Isle mood, we've got lots of yarns that have multiple colors on sale that will um, give you lots of color choices for Fair Isle stuff. Hi Maureen. So if you're around town and you want to stop in and look at what's on sale, please do so. We are going back to our regular pre-COVID um, hours in that we're going to be open Wednesdays through Saturdays from 10 to 5. Um, Wednesday and Thursday will only be open till four, but Friday and Saturday will be open till five o'clock. We're not gonna open on Sundays and Mondays. We will be here, um, Kate and I will be here, but it will be by appointment only. And that's giving us time to do some individual lessons and to spend some time together working on the website because we are trying to put a lot of stuff up on the website, continuing our goal of at least four new things on the website every month. Um, so Kate was here taking pictures of all the sale stuff. 
So we will be able to have some a sale clearance sale page on the website. She'll probably have that up and running by Thursday at the latest, so you'll be able to check that out as well. So that's our business for business update for this morning. Um, we are, if you got the email that I sent out yesterday, I'm going to start doing Zoom classes and we're gonna go little by little, slowly introducing them. Hi, Ruth Ann. Um, the first class that I'm going to do, hi, Lana, is the Mosaic Cowl. Hi, Northampton Live. Happy New Year to you too. So this is a pretty easy cowl and it's pretty dramatic as well. It's a slip stitch, so you're only ever working with one color. Hi, Terry, um, at a time. And you are knitting a stitch and slipping a stitch, or in this case, you're also purling a stitch and slipping a stitch. So it's a black background with a multicolor yarn used for the contrast color. And you notice what happens at the, I'm gonna call it the bottom, it looks like it's a black background with colored dots or stitches, but by the time you get up here, you've reversed it so that it's a colored background with black stitches. So it's a pretty easy but fun little project to do. So we're going to do that as a class um, on Zoom, and the listing for that will be on the website. I'm going to have the class on Friday the 15th from 11 to 1, and on Wednesday, the 20th from 11 to 12. That should be enough to get you halfway through it at least. There will be homework that you have to have done in order to do this class. So, hi Nancy. Um, so, um, when you sign up for the class or register for the class online, or call us to register for the class, we will send you the pattern link tell you what you need for needles, and then um, we will have kits available. Kate has going to, has taken pictures and will be putting these colors up. These are four different colors of Gina. This is the one that the model is, the one that I just showed you. It's kind of an orangey green. Hi, Bonnie. Then we also have a pink, gray, and white. Um, I would say this is an intermediate class. It, even a beginner, Beth, who has done a, just a little bit of knitting will be able to do it because the slip stitch is pretty easy. The thing that will be the hardest is um, looking at the chart or following the number directions. Then we have a kind of light blue to dark blue and a green to gray. It's definitely something that a person who knows how to cast on somebody who knows how to knit, and somebody who knows how to purl. We'll be teaching you how to read the chart, how to do the slip stitches, and um, what that means by when you're knitting in the round. So it'll be a fun, easy way to get into Zoom classes. Um, so hopefully you will like it and sign up for it. Um, like I said, it will be on Zoom, so once you sign up, you'll get the link for it, and I do have a document camera so you'll actually you won't be looking at me you'll be looking at my hands i can show it again bonnie here it is and it's it it's it can be worn this way with the black background at the top or it can be worn this way with the colored background at the top um, but the zigzag it's called the zigzag cowl and that zigzag in the middle is where you end up transitioning from one background color and switching them to the other background color. So it's a fun little piece that um, we're choosing to do just in a black background. If you don't want to get the kit, the kit will end up being about $30. You can, you're welcome to use your own yarn. You will need a solid color and you will need a long gradient multicolor. So if you've got something in your stash in a worsted weight, then go ahead and use it. But we've put some kits together to try to make it easy um, for you. And you can come in and look at the yarns too, if you want. So that's the hat, that's the scarf. Then I do have some new models in the store that I finished this week as well. And the first thing that I wanted to show you was 
this scarf that I turned into a cowl. This is one of the patterns that I included in the Woolly Thoughts box. And the pattern is a zigzag um, kind of, of knit and pearl, garter stitch and stocking net stitch. And you get that zigzag pattern with an increase and decrease. And when it's knit, it's a strand of mohair with a strand of fingering weight yarn. You get this great, great blend. And what I wanted to show you actually were the yarns that I used to do it. And instead of making it a scarf, I sewed the edges together. Let's see if I can move that so we get a little bit more of a picture of it. Sewed the edges together so that it has this kind of knot. This little piece right here, I ended up having to use a different um, yarn altogether just to finish up my last corner because I put more stitches on than I was supposed to. So it's a lot wider than it should be, which means I ran out of the yarn. Those of you with the Willy Thoughts box, when you go to make it, if you follow the directions that I wrote on there, this won't happen to you. But what I wanted to show you was what happens when you take a solid color yarn, this is the fingering weight color that I used, and this is the multicolored yarn that I used. And when you see it in the skein, it looks entirely different than what happens to it when it knits up. It's a gorgeous, slow colorway when it's actually knit, but in the skein, it really looks like it's a, a mush of stuff. Right, Kate? How would you describe that? Just kind of, it's a much more dramatic color in the skein yeah. than it is when it's knit. That's yeah. what I want to say. Yeah, it feels like you're going to have pockets of color, but you have like speckles And it color. really blends all over the place. Thanks, Maureen. It really is beautiful. And it feels fantastic. If you are spending any time at all on Ravelry, you have to be aware that the, mo strands, the two strands together with the lace weight mohair is a big deal now. We're seeing it over and over and over again. So um, we've um, done it up in this little um, scarf that I turned into a cowl. We have it done in a sweater and we're gonna be doing it in a couple of other sweaters because it really makes a nice, nice feeling um, garment or piece, whatever it is. So we're getting more and more of those lace weight mohairs in. I just opened a box, so you're gonna get a little bit of a box opening today because I placed an order with um, the Manos with Fairmont Fibers for the Cabrito mohair. And this is what we got. We haven't even taken it out of the plastic bag yet. So Manos is famous for their color work. And we got five skeins each of these mohairs. This is Hirache which is a gorgeous green. This is Cureco, and, I, and forgive my Spanish, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> um, but God, this is a beautiful blue. This is like sky blues, ocean-like things. Yeah, Bonnie, they are really great. Ooh, really pretty. gorgeous colors. This is Agama, Agama. That's pretty. Really pretty. It's like true multi. Oops, I keep forgetting the camera's up not down <laughs> up and up and then this is autumn mm. the true autumn rusty tones in there and we have tons and tons and tons of um salad colors we have all of the periwinkle sheep and we've got the madeline tosh this great grays this is beautiful this is called opera looks like a night at the opera <laughs> is it showing true um, it's fuzzy on my end. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's gray with there's, little hints of rust. There's more nuance than and I can blue. See. So we've got a bunch of that stuff in, but here's my favorite color. <gasps> yeah. See, this one is called Ocelot, and it is deep browns and gold and rust, all of that stuff. Yes. Hi, Willa. That's queenly. It's queenly. Okay. <laughs> love it so you're going to be seeing more of that because i started to work on another model that's using these two strands of yarn so we'll have that done um, as well 
And speaking of models that I finished, I'm really, really happy with how this one came out. This is the sweater called Ascend. The pattern is in the Lane magazine. And I used the new yarn that we got from Trendsetter called Pure Love. That is the blue on the top. This is the one that's a wool and silk blend that I showed you that I thought the silk showed up as these tiny little specks. Um, and then for the bottom, I used the Homestead from Plymouth Yarn. And the bottom is where all that texture is in that really nice pattern there. With that little bit of color at the bottom. Um, this was knit in the round and then divided for front and back and the sleeves were put on afterwards. So it feels great. It really does feel nice and a really easy pattern to knit. Um, so that's from the Lane magazine. And that one's done. And then the second sweater that I got done is in the Wool Folk Loft. I haven't completely finished it. I still have a lot of ends to work in, but I couldn't wait to show it because I'm so pleased with how it came out. The Luft is another one of those yarns that once you block it or wash it, the more you handle it, the softer and softer it gets. The Luft is a cotton and wool blend, and the construction is the, um, it's a core that is that the um, wool is then blown into. So it's a cotton core on the outside and blown in wool. And this is just a basic raglan sleeve sweater, but I did it in four colors. So we've got the navy blue and then a gray, a kind of peachy beige, and then the very top ends in pink. Took 10 skeins of the left to do this, but I've got a lot of the second skeins left, um, like a lot of the pink, enough to do a cowl or a scarf or even a couple of hats with. But this will be in the shop. The pattern is one that I'm writing. Um, so you'll have this design to choose from too. It and it is a bulky weight. And so you will be able to knit it up pretty quickly on a size 10 needle. So that will be here. So we got a lot done this week, which was really fun. It was fun to be home and have some time to knit time to clean up, time to reorganize the store. Let's see, what else did we want to talk about today? Finally, there was one thing that I've been waiting for. We all know how horrible the mail has been. Um, and there was an order that I had for a, a little fun thing that was supposed to be here on December 7th and just came today. So we just unboxed it and it was something that I was going to put into the woolly boxes for a little treat. So if you um, bought a woolly box, you need to come and get this stuff. Um, these are from Three Birds, Three Bluebirds Swedish dishcloths. And they, they are a, a, an actual dishcloth or cleaning cloth it looks all nice and stiff right now because it needs to get wet. But they're screen printed by these artists, by this one particular artist in Connecticut. Um, they're made out of recyclable, um, actually, what are they made out of? It's 100% biodegradable, compostable, and recyclable. And each one of these lasts for six to nine months. You can use it to clean, use it to wash your dishes. You can then put it in the dishwasher or in the laundry and just hang it flat to dry. And they come with all of these different prints on it. So we got, of course, sheep. We got a little winter cottage scene. We got um, the cardinals on a pine branch and cardinals in birch trees. So more wintry kind of, of scenes. You'll get three of these. You will have three of those in the woolly box. We're gonna, Kate took pictures of them today. We're gonna have them on the website. They are $6.95 each, but you're going to be able to buy a set of three um, for $18.99. And we can hold them for you. We can mail them to you, whatever. But um, they're supposed to be really, really good for the environment. They take the place their advertising says 
that they take the place of 17 rolls of paper towels. And so I thought it would just be a fun thing to try, especially if you're doing all of that winter cleaning. And I know our house gets pretty dusty with all of the um, soot because we burn in the fireplace quite a bit. But we've got sheep and cardinals. So look for those as well. They came in this great little display case. So they're gonna be right at the front of the store. Oh, Bess, you do know them. Um, absolutely, they are available. Like I just said, we're gonna have them on the website and you'll be able to buy them through the website or just give me a call and um, we can put them aside for you then as well. Um, Kate is working really hard, like I said, to put the sales stuff up. And um, in the meantime, if you do wanna come in, we've got them marked. You can see the yellow um, signs over my shoulder. That is how we've got a lot of the sale yarns marked, just with big yellow signs. So you know what the price was, you know what the price is, and you know how much you are saving. And I've really marked things down quite a bit. Because hopefully we've got some big plans for this coming year that I'm working really hard on. I also wanted to let you know that next week we will not be doing a lunch with Linda on Monday. I have a class that I'm taking on Monday, all of Monday afternoon, so I am not going to be able to do a lunch with Linda next Monday, but then we'll pick it up again right away on the 18th. We'll be back here at 1230, hopefully with some exciting new news as well. So Bess says she's given them to her to her kids and they like them too. I like the idea. I mean, I am always throwing sponges out 